this video we are going to discuss about the gross rate. The other name is synthetic exchange rate. Now in this given picture you can look that an Indian exporter is exported goods to UK but the rate available to him is in terms of rupee per dollar. And in UK the rate available is dollar per pound. We don't need this rate. We need a direct rate between India and UK. We need a rate in the terms of pound and rupee. So synthetic exchange rate or cross rate, how can we identify it? It is just by identifying the common currency and cancelling it. So let's take an example. The rate that is quoted in UK is that 1 UK is equals to 2 US dollar and in India it is 1 US dollar is equals to rupees 40. Now the common currency is dollar. So for getting the cross rate I need to cancel this common currency that is US dollar. So 1 UK pound is equals to 2 US dollar and 1 US dollar is equals to rupees 40. That gives me a rate in terms of rupee per UK pound. Now moving further, there may be two possible cases. Case 1, that is when the cancellation currency or the currency to be cancelled is on the opposite side. Now, in this picture, you can see that in the above the rate is given of dollar and in the below one the rate is given of the pound. That is they are on the opposite direction. So the formula is bid multiply by bid by ask multiply by ask. That is E multiply by C by P multiply by D. Now case 2. When the currency to be cancelled is on the same side. Now look at this picture. In this picture you can find that the rate in both the cases is given of the dollar. We need to cancel it. So the formula is bid by ask by ask by bid. So it gives us an equation that is E by T by P by C. Now let's take an example of this case 2 equation that is when it is on the same side. So two currencies are given. Now I want a rate in terms of rupee per Hong Kong dollar. So the equation is bid by ask by ask by it. So the required rate will be 5.6243 by 